Hey guys, it's Patrice, and I would like to welcome you to Growing Together in the Knowledge of Christ. Growing Together in the Knowledge of Christ is an avenue of teachings devised to encourage and empower the believers to win in their walk with Christ. As believers, we are constantly growing, and as the Lord continues to teach and develop me, He challenged me to pay it forward and help others grow as well. So guess what, you guys? We we are in this together. I pray that the word of the Lord bless you. And if you're blessed by this word, I ask that you like, comment, share so others can be blessed as well and subscribe. As long as you're living, people are going to be people. As long as you're living, you're going to have to deal with people. As long as you're living, you're going to come against opposition. There are going to be people out there who will oppose you. When people make it a point to speak negatively about you because of the decisions you made or because you're in the will of God and God's light is shining on you, you have to know that their words don't reflect who you are as a person. It shows us their character. It shows us that their character is flawed. In Numbers chapter 12, you'll read how Miriam and Aaron came against Moses. They spoke against him. They talked about the woman he married, his wife that he that he taken. They talked about how God communicated with Moses as if God didn't communicate with them too. And God overheard this conversation that they were having and he dealt with them accordingly. But the point I want to make is you'll see how Moses responded. Moses didn't take matters into his own hand and fight them back with his words. He didn't go into the camp and sow seeds of discord among the other children of Israel. Instead, Moses pleaded for them before God. Moses asked that God would restore Miriam because God gave Miriam leprosy. And that's how God wants us to respond to our naysayers. My God, it hurts when the people we love, our friends, our family, the people we do ministry with come against us, when they slander us, when they gossip about us, that's painful. So we have to also pray for our own hearts as we intercede for those who come against us and ask God to help us to forgive and show people grace and mercy. Just as we want God to show us grace and mercy. And you say, well, Patrice, the devil was in them or whatever, or people who act this way don't have the spirit of God living in them. But let me tell you this. God called Aaron and Miriam as well. Aaron was appointed as the high priest. When God called Moses, he called Aaron. Aaron spoke for Moses because Moses had a speech problem. When Moses was a baby, God used Miriam to safeguard him. He was floating down a Nile River because Pharaoh was killing the male babies. When God delivered the children out of Israel and brought them safely across the Red Sea. It was Miriam, whoo, hallelujah, who led the women in a tambourine dance and praise and worship. God spoke to them as well. He just didn't speak to them the same way he spoke to Moses. And so I say all this to say, whether or not your brothers and sisters in the Lord are behaving as such, we still have to love them. We still have to pray for them and leave them in God's hands because they belong to God. And every idle word that we speak against those, especially those in the body of Christ, they're going to be counted against us. So we cannot allow the enemy to distract us and we cannot fall into his trap of having us speak against people. Instead, we have to do it God's way and pray for restoration. Hallelujah. God, I pray 
that you will grace us, God, to show grace and mercy towards those who come against us, Lord. Help us to forgive, God. Help us to intercede for them, Lord. Restore, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Because we want to be pleasing and acceptable in thy sight, Lord, when you call us home. Hallelujah. Purify our hearts, Lord, and help us to walk in love. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Thank God. Amen. Please know I say this in love. I love you. Go with God and God bless.